Hi. So, all right, let's start off with, this is my gigantic package, packages here. Let's move this out of the way and first show you what's in my Webster pages thing. Cute box. Has this little plasticky paper thing. Hello, welcome to Webster's Pages. And here is the actual binder. So this is a brown one. Ideally, I uh, would have wanted black, but they didn't have a black one available, which I thought was a little bit odd. Um, it seems to be all right. This isn't my first Webster Pages purchase. I purchased a Traveler's Notebook once. It does have a little bit of fraying right down here, but considering I got this for $13, I guess I can't fret too much, right? And here we go. It's the inside. So you got it's white and brown, and it has six rings. It has a large pocket right in here and some smaller pockets and here you could put uh, some people do a journaling card did i buy one i don't remember but yeah so if you had stickers or something i'm have a lot of stickers but i end up not being much of a sticker planner big folder pocket and another pocket there's lots of pockets and a pen loop so let's put this aside for a moment so i ordered from cloth and paper this is my first time purchasing from them and i started subscribing to a youtuber called maddie plans i'll link her down below she doesn't caption but and i just i just got really interested in her setup and it looked very professional and businessy so yeah what better way to try things out than on black friday and then here is the fall winter capsule collection i don't i don't know buying planner thing hi zane what are you doing uh oh are you gonna try to come up here um uh what are you doing what do you want oh my goodness Zane, get out of there. Come here. What are you doing? Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness. You have to get down. Poor boy. All right, let's go ahead and <laughs> he's going to try to get back up here again. Ah, yes, paper. Oh my god, this is not going to fit in my planner. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I do not have a receipt on here. Or in here. Why do I not have a receipt? Alright, well I have my order on my phone, so let's take a look at that. So here we have, what is this? A frosted planner credit card holder. I got for the A5, by the way. Everything is A5. And on the photo, it has it looking like this. But I have it as like... Part of me doesn't really like that, but that's what it looks like for the A5. And here I would plan to put like business cards in here, really. We have a media content manager page. I uh, unfortunately do not get a lot of sponsorships, but I am hoping now in this next year, I will be more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Disciplined in contacting people. So I wanna get that done and this will help me keep track of that sort of thing. You can write uh, who you're supposed to be contacting, your content overview. So like if it's a video, a speaking engagement, the date, some task and deliverables. English, I don't necessarily understand. We'll worry about that later. This is a task list and it's really just line paper. And I think what I wanted to do with this was I wanted to put like video ideas, but I think instead of just an overview of all videos, I was going to do like deaf awareness videos or disability, accessibility, child abuse, mental health, things like that, you know, and then have that do like a little circle or square and then uh, get that uh, checked off. So each category has its own specific page. This is going to go on the front of my planner. This is a dashboard, the 20, 20 year at a glance dashboard. Is that what they called it? Yeah, you're at a glance transparent dashboard. Sorry that the video angle is not going to be like your traditional planner people, but I actually cannot do that. There's no way on this table. Are you having fun, Zane? Do you want to help? No? Okay. This is what I'm really excited about. This is uh, dividers. These are the black dividers with white. And I think these are... Should they have different kinds? These are the black plastic CEO 
side tab. Dividers, they come in paper as well in different colors, but I wanted something really durable. And here you have schedule, a list, projects, finances, goals, and miscellaneous. I think I'm not going to include the finances because I have my own planner specifically for budgeting, but we'll see how it goes, especially considering how I'm probably not going to be able to fit everything in a binder. What I'm looking at right now to have is just schedule, list, projects, goals, ideas, and miscellaneous. Although it might look weird if I have one big empty space. I don't know. We'll see how it looks. This is, oh my god, what are these two? Okay, I think this is the 2020 Data Planner Inserts Vertical Weekly. And then these are the dailies, I think. Please, I really hope I didn't order, like, the wrong thing. I tried to look as much as possible. Okay, yeah. 2020 Vertical Weekly Aligns. And, yeah, these are the dailies. Work it. You should try this thing called, um turning things around and maybe you'll know what the hell you got in your hands huh so yeah these look so nice i am the only thing that makes me really skeptical is that they're so small but i mean i have a hobonichi weeks which is incredibly small actually yeah it's too small <laughs> yeah all right and that's it for inserts and then i got two small little things i have these rose page flags i don't remember what i was gonna use these for Probably like important notes if I'm at conferences at any business event and I would just put this down. And these little dots, they're supposed to be transparent. Oh no, well yeah, it says new transparent. I don't know how well it's going to work. But what I wanted to do with this is anytime I would have a date. Oh, I feel like these are going to be too big. I don't know, let's see. They, I thought in the description they said that this is the ideal way to use them or one of the ways you could use them. But whenever I have a date... Uh, like, say, for example, um, I have a speaking engagement on February 12th. I would put a sticker and put it on top of the 12th so I know that I booked. And then I'd have the actual thing written down uh, elsewhere. But, yeah, we'll see how that... We'll see how that goes once I set it up. And, yeah, I think this was just for, like, labeling these flags. I think that they were just for, like, labeling specific pages. All right, we're going to see how this works out. Let's try to set this up a little bit. I have absolutely no room on this um table it will be fine all right okay all right so let me pull out my planner and first thing i know i want to do is open this it feels thin it feels much thinner than i thought it would be hopefully not too bad got that in there and i i think Oh, this does not lie flat. That's going to bother me. Oh my god, this is so much. I am not going to be able to fit all that I want. I might have to cut it down a bit. I might have to do half a year. Oh no. I'm kind of upset. Oh well. I don't really like doing half a year just because. But you know what? I have other planners that I'm going to be using in conjunction with this. So maybe it'll be okay. Alright, I want to put these dividers in. And I think I'm just gonna, we'll just put them all in for right now. When I got these dividers, I had then wanted to get extra dividers originally because I thought, how am I going to use my weekly and my daily if they're all going to be like jumbled up? And now I'm kind of worried about it. <laughs> I have... So far, our dashboard, and then our dividers. Now I'm trying to figure out how I want to do any of this. For projects, I would definitely want to put in, you know I think I want to put the media content in the projects divider, and then these task lists that were going to be video ideas. I could just put these in the goals and ideas. I think that's what we'll do for now. Yeah, I think I'm going to add all of them. Anything that I end up not using, any extra inserts, I'll put in my Webster Pages box that Zane is now sleeping on. So that way it won't get lost or messed up. It'll be safely in a box. At least one good thing about rings is that, okay, I'm left-handed. Usually us left-handed people hate rings, but on the upside, I can just, as annoying as it is to, we'll deal with it. For how much this costs, we'll deal with it.
What would happen if I took out my finances tab? Would it just look really strange? It would. It would just be very empty. Maybe for finances, I'll like, maybe I could split up this, the task list, task list, and like split it between the two. So finance wise, I could put what I'm saving up for, right? Maybe. Should we do that? Does it say how many I have? All right, I'll start. I will be a responsible young lady account, I guess. Have one, two, three, All right, there's 15, so that's not gonna be an even number. Um, I have more video ideas than I do financial goals at the moment, I guess. So let's do. Seven, and then the rest will go in the video ideas. Or we'll see. We'll see when I like fill it out. If I want to change it up, I will change it up. Yeah, I can do that with the ease of these rings. How do people use something so small? But then again, again, I use a hobonichi. So what's my problem? <laughs> the hobonichi weeks is extremely small. All right. And then I should probably put this somewhere. Do I want to put this in the front? Rather than... I do, because I want this to be like the cover until I get like an actual dashboard thing with nice little terms or phrases. Although I may never actually do that. <laughs> Just because it's more bulk. So I would like the... Ah, it won't come out. Aha. Uh -huh. So I would definitely, oh no, why is it not punched properly? I would definitely like this though. I have like one section for my cards or I'll have three sections and then if I have other people's business cards, I could put them in here. All right, do I like it this way or do I want to have it in the front after all? I feel like it does look weird, it being behind it. I guess in a way I prefer it, but I also don't. We'll just leave it like this for now. And then I have to figure out how I'm going to add. This is already so much. I did not think this through. <laughs> All right, you know what? This should have monthlies in here. So let me look at this first. If this doesn't have monthlies, I will be a little upset because the thing that I read said that this would have monthlies. Oh, how cute. It has holidays on it. All right, monthly to-do list, birthdays, important dates, weekly habits, and the actual... Okay, this is awesome. All right, I like this so far. All right, this belongs to... Nice little page. And it also has a year at a glance. So I could actually, like, highlight it or something. Or if I really wanted to, I could put the stickers... The little, um, dot stickers on there instead. Maybe, yeah, we'll see. So, holidays. I mean, I'm not much of a holiday person, you know this. If you've been following me for a while, but, um, we'll see. We'll just put it in there for now and see how we're gonna go with this. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna get January in here. You know what, we're gonna shove it all in here. <laughs> so far we have July. I'm thinking if there's anything that I don't keep in as a whole, it would be the dailies. At least the weeklies, I can look at everything at sort of a glance, but a dailies is, the dailies is gonna be a little bit, more difficult, I guess. Yeah, this is, oh gosh, this is so full. Like, it's not gonna be able to hold anything. This is all the weeklies. I am a horrible person. This is a, this is a stack as big as the stack over here that has, you know what I think I could possibly do? Once the year comes, I will put a month's worth or even half a month's worth of dailies into this and then use it that way because I just don't think it's gonna be possible to really, I don't know. And here's why I also really wanted, I like the idea of having other dividers 
like the monthly dividers because now I have to like flip through so many pages and that's a little bothersome for a bit but if I had the dividers I could easily go through September but it's also we have page flags for so maybe I could also use the page flags as sort of dividers because I think I don't even I don't think I'd have enough room I don't know why did I think these are bigger than they actually are hold on what's back here this is what is this specifically oh no these are just more monthlies I suppose I could cut down some pages right here these are I think there's like 30 media pages in here I really don't need that many so maybe I could just cut the media section down to about five on average, I get one sponsorship right here. <laughs> what was I thinking? No, let me do that. Let me try this. And they're also double-sided, I think. Yeah, they're double-sided. Please get in there. That kind of knocks it down a little bit. I, re I really am strongly considering getting dividers. I'll have to take a look online uh, in the future. But let me see how... So, like, if I had dailies and I had the monthly divider, then I could also put the dailies in with a specific month. I really do think I want to do that. But just for funsies, um... Well, no, this page will also... This is the date. This is... Sorry. This is daily planner on there. So this could also act as a bit of a divider, but I don't think it's a strong enough divider. That's not what I want to do. I know what I want to do. All right. I'm going to do what I said I would want to do if I had the monthly dividers. Oh, you know what I could do? Since on the daily dividers, it has each month like this. I'm going to put this right before the monthly. All right. Um, please, please get in there. I don't want to ruin anything. I don't want to get angry. And I'm going to let the monthlies... Should I? Oh, I don't know if I'm going to like this that much if I did it this way. All right, so the monthlies here have for the fifth. Um, oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. The daily starts right here. Okay, that's not going to work because I want the month to come first. You want the month to come first so you have it at a glance. So, all right, let's try it this way. So, never mind. That kind of defeats the purpose. I might have to do an updated video. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, ooh, no, no, no. Do you think that could work if I put all my dailies? I was gonna do like a whole 30 days in here, but then like, no, I think I would have to separate it completely and do like page markers. Oh my God, okay. All right, let me see how much of January I can. All right, so daily planner. Let's see if I can get half a month, at the very least half a month. All right, and then I suppose I would put, what's this? And it's like the weeklies and when it starts, there's three sex, what is this? What is, what is this extra paper? This is when it starts into, This is the end of December. Oh, I guess it's January 3rd. I guess this is a new year. I don't know. I might take these extra pieces of paper out. But here's the first 15 days of January. Yeah, I think that really pushes it. <laughs> ah, and then we still have this huge stack right here. I'm not sure entirely what to do with right now. So I guess I would take a page flag and kind of mark it. But for now, I'm just going to stick these in the back here. Figure that out later. Now, yeah, as you can see, the big chunk is all in the schedule, and then everything else seems sort of empty. Oh, I have a list tab. What can I put in this? Because I have my list of videos right here, which, where did that go? I, I guess this is something I'll have to figure out. <laughs> uh, all right, let me just close this up for now. And there we go. It's a nice, it, it's filled up. Like, I wouldn't know what else to do with it. I gotta shake it so it doesn't get, the, I don't want the divider to get caught. Haha, -ha. all right. And here is gonna be my, uh, my little flip through, initial flip through of what the planner looks like so far.
so we'll see how this goes and we'll see if I maybe come back with an update video in the future with possibly the other dividers to try to make this a little more organized in terms of schedule.